Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mixed by Eli, Mixed by Eli. Vision, and today I want to express to you one of the pretty much tricks that I learned um, in my earlier days of mixing, and that today is a concept that I learned from my one of my favorite engineers, Ken Lewis, um, and it's the speed mixing drills. What that basically means is I set a timer for 10 minutes and and then in those 10 minutes, I get a song mixed as fast as possible. From leveling to adding plugins, I get this song sounding close to finish or finished as possible. What I want to introduce to you is how to become more efficient by weeding out the time spent uh, tweaking unnecessary things that don't move your song forward, all right? So the idea behind this is to just make bold moves. Just make a move, commit to it, move on to the next thing. And, you know, it doesn't mean that you're going to have a mix done completely in 10 minutes or that you should strive to finish mixes in 10 minutes. That's not the idea. But it's to get you out of that mindset of I have to mix to perfection. Without further ado, like I said, you have this, I have this session before me and you see all these tracks, right? My goal is to mix this entire song in 10 minutes. So the drill itself is to mix for 10 minutes, bounce it down uh, to a stereo file and come back, reset everything bounce it out, uh, start over with the 10 minutes, bounce it out again, and you do this a total of six times that gives you an entire hour spent on the mix. And the takeaway from this is that every time you listen back to it, you're supposed to hear what you can tweak next time. Uh, I'm going to switch over to my mixing console because that's basically what this is. And as you'll see, I have a lot of my faders turned down with the exception of my aux tracks. I haven't heard anything, so I'm not tweaking any settings. Without further ado, I have my timer. Oh, that's OBS. I have my timer set to 10 minutes, and it's going to buzz in both you and I ears um, when the time is up. So uh, without further ado, we're going to start mixing in 3, 2, 1. All my energy, love, please forgive me. See, I'm in between loving the industry and fighting my enemies, the ones that's within me. I've been sacrificing all my time for it, just so they remember me. I'm at the point now where love and sympathy just drains all my energy. Love, please forgive me. See, I'm in between loving the industry and fighting my enemies, the ones that's within me. I've been sacrificing all my time for it, just so they remember me. At the point now where love and sympathy just drains all my energy. Lovely forgive me. See, I'm in between loving. Lovely forgive me. Forgive me. See, I'm in between loving the industry and fighting my enemies. Woo! The ones that's within me. Yeah. I've been sacrificing all my time for it, just so they remember me. So they remember me. At the point now where love and sympathy just. Yeah. 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 
money like a centipede Keep it 100 with Cause all of the money the cause and bras won't bring you serenity no. Now it's 6 o'clock in the morning I've been up all night with this recording ay, 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 yeah. ay. I'm probably chilling out, out with the masses Being a boss calculating my taxes I'm not that nigga who used to be passive no. I need a rider, that chick to just crash with This life I'm living is so above average Live like a king and a savage I've been playing like a Yamaha They used to be sleeping on me Now I'm the one they come see Now watch me slam like a tomahawk Watch, watch me slam like a tomahawk This life I'm living so exciting I know these niggas don't like it watch me. I know these niggas don't like it I got you up on your feet Now you claim you wanna leave I've been playing like a Yamaha I've, I've been playing like a Yamaha Yeah, we run the town. Hey. We gon' turn up till we can't turn it down. Hey. They love the kid and they feelin' the sound. They feelin' the sound. Enjoy. I got you up on your feet. Now you claim you wanna leave. I've been playing like a Yamaha. I've, I've been playing like a Yamaha. Yeah. They used to be sleeping on me. Now I'm the one they come see. Now watch me slam like a tomahawk. Hey. Watch, watch me slam like a tomahawk. This life I'm living so exciting. Oh. I know these niggas don't like it. Oh. City, yeah, we run the town. We gon' turn up till we can't turn it down. They love the kid and they feelin' the sound. They feelin' the sound. I got you up on your feet. Now you claim you wanna. That's within me. Yeah. Hey. I've been sacrificing all my time for it. Just so they remember me. So they remember me. At the point now with love and sympathy just drains all my energy. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I told my niggas when we make it, gotta keep it 100 like a centipede. Keep it 100 with all the cars and bras won't bring you serenity. No. no. Now it's 6 o'clock in the morning. I've been up all night with this recording. Lovely forgive me. Lovely forgive me. Yeah, I'm in between loving the industry and fighting my enemies. Woo! The ones that's within me. Yeah. I've been sacrificing all my time for it. Just so they remember me. So they remember me. At the point now with love and sympathy just drains all my energy. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I told my niggas when we make it, gotta keep it 100 like a centipede. Keep it 100 with all of the money, the cars and bras won't bring you serenity. Oh. No. Now it's 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Got to I've been up all night with this recording. Yeah, I'm probably chilling out, out with the masses. Being a boss, calculating my taxes. I'm not that nigga who used to be passive. I need a rider, that chick to just crash. With. This life I'm living is so above average. Live like a king and a savage. I got you up on your feet. Now you claim you wanna leave. I've been playing like a Yamaha. I've been playing like a Yamaha. Lovely forgive me. Lovely forgive me. Yeah, I'm in between loving the industry and fighting. Enjoy. I got you up on your feet. Now you claim you wanna leave. I've been playing like a Yamaha. I've been playing like a Yamaha. They used to be sleeping on me. Now I'm the one they come see. Now watch me slam like a tomahawk. Watch, watch me slam like a tomahawk. This life I'm living so exciting. I know these niggas.
niggas don't like it. Oh, I know these niggas don't like it. City, yeah, we run the town. We gon' turn up till we can't turn it down. They love the kid and they feelin' the sound. They feelin' the sound. They feeling the sound Look at that. So we are done with this. Um, and as you can see, that mix is not done. So um, what I what I would have to do is bounce to disc, right? And we're going to say, come see uh, tutorial bounce one, right? Uh, actually, I have to come back and bounce from the start to the finish, right? No matter how bad it sounds, no matter what you have to do, we're going to bounce this mix out to disc. So now we can say, come see, bounce one. Okay? And we're going to bounce it. Just leave it as is. Um, we're not going to import it. And we're going to take the offline. So what we're going to do now is we're going to listen to this song in its entirety and bounce it out. Uh, we're going to listen to it as it's bouncing out. And there you have it. You have a finished... Well, you have a song that we mixed in like 10 minutes okay 10 minutes and this is the sound that we got we got a balance we got somewhat of a balance mix i heard uh a string the strings came in too hard or too loud i heard um there was a certain vocal that came in that was too loud um you know things like that but regardless we were able to get the static mix we were able to start working on uh, processing the vocals, we processed the beat, we processed, you know, we didn't touch the two bus, uh, or the mix bus, rather, we were able to add some depth, 
with some reverb. We did just that much work in 10 minutes, okay? And what I don't want is for you to spend 10 minutes just tweaking, uh, you know, making the slightest EQ move or the slightest compression move or, you know, the slightest fader tweak. You know, we got somewhat of a rough mix and this is just based off of what we did in 10 minutes. So now we can spend the next 50 minutes or so sweetening the song and making sure everything is completely balanced. But regardless, um, like I said, you do that 10 minutes at a time, you bounce it out, you start over, right? You start completely over, take off all your processing, take off all your effects, and you do the same thing over and over, over and over. You do that six times, that gives you a total of one hour mixing, um, and you got, what, six bounces or six masters. Or if you want to just shorten the time or increase the time in this case, Spend 15 minutes mixing a song, right? Do that four times, um, and that way you'll have four bounced uh, versions. The idea is big, bold moves. I make a move, I move to the next thing. If it's something that is a pressing issue, uh, we'll tweak that, but I'm not going to sit here and make sure that I'm making the right EQ moves, the right compression moves, the right reverb moves, I'm making a choice and I'm sticking to it. Well, I'm committing to it. And then we go back. It, I hope this helps. I hope this is um, an eye opener for you. Um, I really want you to try this, not just with mixing. If you're an artist, I want you to try doing this with your writing. I want you to try doing this with your recording. See what you can get done in just 10 to 15 minutes at a time. Or if you're an engineer or a producer, you you know do it, you start with just a few tracks, right? You don't have to start with this complete layout of tracks. You start with maybe three or four tracks. You try to get a mix done within four tracks. You try to get a mix done within eight tracks. You try to get a mix done within 16, and then eventually you work your way up. Um, if you're producing, try to make a beat with just three elements in the next 15 minutes up until you're working on fully arranged and fully processed mixes uh, or beats within that time period. This is a concept that is a part of my seven concepts of efficient, of efficient mixing, which I give to you for free just for watching this video, okay? You'll find concepts like this and six other ones that I really believe, and because I use to this day, when I'm mixing a record or when I'm producing a record or when I'm writing a song, you wanna grab that guide, the link is in the description below. You also get a free template from my console concept video. If you haven't checked that video out, please do check that out. Um, I did use a channel strip. I have a video talking about channel strips. I have an entire playlist based off of the seven concepts of efficient mixing that I think you should check out. But thanks for watching this video. And until next time, peace.